lot that we do as women. Um, there is a lot that we try to, try to teach our children. Which makes it very difficult um, to lose any of them, anyhow. What was your initial reaction to this video? Where were you when you saw it? I was on my way to Polokwane. I was shocked. I was disturbed. I mean, I was embarrassed. I was mixed up. It was like a bomb just under my feet. I was all over, traumatized, tears all over. I, I started pacing, I like, in my mind, what's going to happen, what's happening? What did your daughter say happened? Um, apparently, uh, the day before, she went to school and she says there were some issues that they were fighting about on Facebook, like the other one called the other one prostitute, and then thinking that all the boys belong to her or their hairs or something like that. So they fought about that. At first, she's like she went to confront her, and then the other one of them, or some of them, they betted a five friend to say, uh, when she hears this, she's going to fight. You understand? So when she got there, apparently she tried to talk about this thing, and then there were some swearing words and all those things, and then she got aggravated, and then she started beating the other child. There's this video circulating, then there's a child who has died. What conversations are you having with your daughter now? I told her that it broke my heart. I told her that um, she was in trouble. And also now that uh, it has escalated to this level, as a family, we're in trouble. And I told her that uh, she must expect to face up to the situation because now this is what happened and whatever that is going to come as a family we are going to suffer through supporting her because after a child has done something wrong like this i don't think she's proud because i remember her saying i wish i didn't beat this child what do you want to say to lufuno's family i want to say i'm very sorry for what happened um, no amount of words, sincerely so, can, can be enough or equivalent to the pain or whatever transpired. I feel bad, I feel sad. You know, it feels like the situation on its own just chose us and put us there. Um, I regret the whole thing and uh, I even regret, part of me regrets me being me because something has just taken me and my family right to that point. And it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. If there was something I could give that will return their child or give her a life, um, I would do it instantly. Um, I wish wherever they are, um, they can be able to tap into my heart and be able to tap into my spirit just to feel and see where I stand with this whole situation. I wish their child was still alive. It's very much disappointing. If, if I could run away from the problem and say, oh, God, give it to somebody else. I would even have taken this assignment. It's too much. Mm -hmm. It's too much for me. It's too much for my family. It's, it's too much, I believe, for them as well. I think the situation is also not going to be stuck with my daughter for the rest of her life. Imagine, just imagine, for the rest of her life, even if we take her for counseling and stuff like that, she must be able to counsel herself as well to say, okay, this is the situation. This is how far my my guilt is in this situation because i know she's not a cold soul that um she can she can just take it for granted or ignore it yes she's also very much affected what are the, for her? the other child took her own life uh we we don't know how this one will feel uh, i don't know 
how far she might want to, how, which angle can she take. Do you understand the outrage from the country? You know, um, looking at the video myself, um, yes. Um, if, if, if my daughter was the other daughter, or was being beaten, I'll feel pain, I'll feel bad, I'll be enraged. But in this sense, I also got enraged because it was my child who was doing it. Um, it, it. It's only fair, it's only normal that it should hurt because it was not a dance between the children. Mm -hmm. And the calls for her to go to jail? Have you seen those? Sorry? The calls for her to be jailed. <laughs> and what is more important here is the children, the child. You understand? The fact that my daughter assaulted the other child, it doesn't make her a, an animal. It doesn't make her um, a different child. And it doesn't mean that her, her years must be, must be added so that she can be able to get a severe punishment. She made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I maintain that. She made a mistake which I regret very much, sincerely, sincerely so. Um, but also she should get what, what is equivalent. We're not going to run away from the community. We're not going to go to another country. South Africa is our home. We belong here. I wish um, fellow South Africans can um, eventually find their own spaces in their hearts to, to forgive this child, to be able to come to the party because my hands are heavy. I also need everybody to assist me with this child. Yes, people are angry, they've got the right to be angry, but I need help. I need love, I need support. I need them to be able to, my daughter wants to be a doctor, by the way, uh, as well. Um, hopefully, they can get their doctor out of my daughter. She mustn't die in that um, jail cell. And um, definitely she's going to come back to the society. So now people should change their minds and come to, to the relevancy of the business of the day. The child who bullied the other child is coming back.